Hello, Scorpio. Welcome to Guided Angel Tarot. I'm here today to do your reading for October 2020. This is a general reading for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. We're starting off with an overall message from the Black Moon Astrology deck. The decks that you see me use in my readings are available on my website for purchase, guidedangelcc.com, which I am offering free domestic shipping. Go over and check out what you need. All right, angels, show me the messages for Scorpio, please, for October 2020. Show me Scorpio. We'll take that one. Trying to come out. Saturn truth. Mm -mm -mm. Saturn is about restrictions. Facing the truth. Old age. We are going to talk about that in a minute. And fire element desire is on the bottom of the deck. I'm going to put that over there as well. And I'm going to pull you one energy card. Show me Scorpio for October, please. Show me Scorpio. What do they need to know? Do you need to face the truth about your desires, Scorpio? <laughs> Um, all right, I'm getting too many. Hold on. Let me do a little cut. Sometimes that helps. Scorpio, please. Cards are slow to come out. Yeah. All right, that one's coming. The fifth chakra, Archangel Gabriel. Gabriel is the messenger of truth. And the fifth chakra is your throat chakra. So that is probably some communication that needs to happen. So we have double truth here. So someone needs to talk about the truth, express the truth. Hmm. Bottom of the deck, we have adjacent possibilities. There's many doors, many options, many things that you need to look at before you make your decision. All right. Let's get some tarot out. I'm just going to put that on the side. Let me see what's under there. The temple path, a new path, following your intuition, getting on a new path, and looking at all of your possibilities so far. Okay. Angels, show me Scorpio, please, for October. Page of Swords reversed. So you need to do some more research. Also, possibility that you're not speaking to someone or something needs to be spoken. The devil, sign of Capricorn in reverse. Resistance of temptation, freedom from an unhealthy, toxic situation, relationship. Show me Scorpio, please, for... October, show me Scorpio. All right, angels, can we have, I'll take that one. The Five of Cups, Scorpio energy. So you're sad. That you're free from a toxic relationship. Interesting. Show me the present for Scorpio. Show me the present for Scorpio. Three of Pentacles, Capricorn, commencement of business. Could be a work reading for someone, working together, working as a team. Show me Scorpio. All right, we'll take them. Nine of Wands. Two of Wands reversed, the Ten of Wands. Somebody's working really hard and really tired. I'll take the last two. Give me the last two for Scorpio, please. I'm using the Light Sears Tarot today. These two? All right. I'll take them. Five of Wands, bottom of the deck, Ten of Pentacles reversed, 
the Four of Pentacles and the Chariot. Okay, so let's talk about Saturn Truth for a second before we move into the reading. But before we do that, let me fix this light a little bit. Okay, sorry about that, guys. Okay. So the coordinating tarot card for Saturn is the Three of Swords. It's a card about facing the truth. It cuts out uh, whatever you're being delusional about. I definitely have an all that glitters type of energy in this reading. I feel like you're holding on to something that no longer serves you. I feel like you're sad and you're tired and you have this like strong desire to do something, to go somewhere, to move on. But with this Ten of Pentacles in reverse being your overall energy, I feel like you either don't want to let go of your stability or you don't want to let go of some money or you don't want to let go of a status, something that you've invested a lot of time and effort into. Because whatever it is that you have to let go of is probably going to break your heart or be very difficult. You are being challenged right now. You are being tested. I feel like you feel restricted. But with this adjacent possibilities over here and then the new path being underneath it, I feel like spirit is guiding you to get on a new path and to let go of something regardless of what you have to lose. The Ten of Pentacles in reverse can signify a divorce, it can signify moving out, it can signify splitting up assets. It's just that you're, what was under that? The chariot, the, a new direction. You're being pulled in two different directions. You want to be free from something that you're chained to, something that this could be a marriage. Whatever it is, I feel like you have a very strong desire to get out of it. The Two of Wands is my free will choice card. Like you're holding the world in your hands. You can make this change. You can do this. What's coming up for you in your future with the Ten of Wands, the Six of Pentacles reversed, and the Five of Wands? I feel like something is going to be the last straw here. I feel like someone may be taking advantage of you, not giving equally. I feel like you're very tired. Nine of Wands in the center of the reading is um, an exhaustion type of energy. Like, I don't know how much longer I can stand here. I don't know how much longer I can do this. I need to make a decision. I'm sad. I need to be free from this devil, free from this unhealthy chain. There's some type of a chain here. And even in this card, I, I was noticing, like I always notice the pictures, but you see how this person here is reaching up towards the desire. He's reaching towards the fire. Like that's what I want right there. And you feel like it's like not in your reach, but I'm telling you that whatever it is, it is in your reach. But you need to look at some other options. You need to look at some other doors. There is a way out of this situation. The um, fifth chakra, Gabriel, there's going to be some type of announcement or something here that is going to push you over the edge and force you to face the truth and finally move on from a situation and let go of whatever this is that you're holding on to. This five of wands being your final outcome, I, I was going to say competition, but that would only be... If this is a job that you've been thinking about leaving or spirit has been trying to push you to leave and you're not doing it, you may be doing all of this hard work and effort and not getting the return on your investment with the Six of Pentacles, not getting treated fairly, treated equally, like somebody giving something to someone else with the competition. So getting overlooked for a promotion or something like that, where you're finally going to say, that's it, I'm walking out the door, I'm doing this. Or if this is a relationship where you're the one that's putting in all of the effort, 
but you're not letting go, not walking away from this person, and you're sad and you're tired, and you don't want to deal with it anymore, then this to me would represent an internal conflict. An internal conflict about making this decision to step out into the world and get on a new path and look at these other options. When Saturn is here, it's a pretty harsh card. It's restrictions of your desires. Like, I feel like you're doing it to yourself. I feel like you have the power to free yourself from, the, you know, to take back control of your life from this unhealthy situation, whatever it is that you're holding on to, and move because, like, your life will just be so much better if you make the decision and you do it. I feel like someone wants to move because the Ten of Pentacles reversed and the Ten of Wands being here, that's my moving combination, moving out of a house. But it, it could also be letting go of a job where that is your stability. Maybe they pay you really well, but they take advantage of you, like pile all of the work onto you. The Nine and the Ten of Wands is, is a pretty heavy energy. It's overload, it's stressed, it's tired, it's irritated. You feel like you're a slave to someone or something. I feel like you cannot do this alone. I feel like you need help. Maybe you need to speak up and ask for help because you feel like you have no support from your family. But something is just too much responsibility. I'm getting an uphill battle here. I feel like you're like looking out into the world and you're just kind of wondering what else is out there. Should I go out there? Should I try and experience something else? Should I move in a new direction? Should I make this decision? But page of swords reversed and six of pentacles reversed, there's an out of balance, there's an injustice. Something isn't fair. Something isn't equal. You may be supporting someone as well. You may be the one that has the job and in a relationship and you're taking care of this person and you're paying for everything and putting a roof over their head and they're just not bringing anything to the table. This is also like my stalker combination. Like someone who doesn't give you any freedom. Someone who's always asking questions. Where were you? What were you doing? What time did you get home? Checking your phone. I just, there's like one-sided is so strong here. This may turn into some type of an argument over money with a partner or a person that you live with, with the Ten of Pentacles. This could be a family business where everybody's getting paid and you're the one doing all of the work. Maybe you feel guilty walking away from a family business. You may not be speaking to someone that you work with. There may be tension or a disagreement with this person. Like, I feel like you don't get along with your coworkers. There's chaos and drama. You're tired of dealing with it. Why do they always get it? How come I'm not getting it? The Four of Pentacles is holding on to something very tightly, mine, 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 and won't let go of it because you would lose a lot. You would lose money. Like, I feel like somebody needs to take a risk here, and they're not taking it. Taking a risk on going in a new direction, movement, chariot. There is options here for you to be able to do whatever you desire to do. But it's like you're not seeing it. I do feel like you are making a plan or laying a foundation to move forward, to put an end to these responsibilities and this stress, but you're also still doing more research. You feel like you're not ready. In the meantime, you're sad and you're tired and you're putting up with a bunch of bull crap. You may be holding on to a house that needs a lot of repairs or constantly needs work and it, something here may happen and it's going to be the last straw and you're like, that's it. I'm getting rid of this house. I don't know why I'm holding on to it. I don't know why I'm staying at this job. I don't know why I'm staying in this relationship. I feel like that's what you're asking yourself. 
if you are being treated this way at work, then, you know, start building your resume or start looking at other options. You definitely have a new path here that is waiting for you to get on it. And your guides are guiding you to get on it. But I just feel like you're not moving. One day you're going to go over here and then one day you're going to go over here. And then one next day you're like, no, I'm going to stay over here. And the next day you're like, oh, I'm going to go over here. I feel there's confusion here in your reading. And with the five of cups and the three of swords being in the same reading, I do feel whatever it is that you need to let go of is going to be very difficult. But all I'm saying is that if you stay in this energy much longer, spirit is going to make something happen that's just going to push you out the door to where you're supposed to be. I feel like you're not on the right path right now, Scorpio. I'm sorry. All right, let me um, let me pull a few extra cards. Show me Scorpio, please. Show me Scorpio. See if we could get some more information. The game. <laughs> Look, the Grim Reaper. The relationship is over. No second chances. Grow and transform your life. Let go of something, Scorpio. My goodness. Show me Scorpio. Sunglasses. There's that stalker. You got a stalker. I saw it right off the bat. Watching, looking, stalking, gaslighting, perception, focusing out. Somebody's watching you. Somebody's watching your every move. I don't feel like this is an X. Oh, we do have the Six of Cups there in reverse, huh? You need to let go of the past. You need to let go of something comfortable. You need to let go of an X. Show me Scorpio, please. This person's not going to give you what you're looking at. Your photos, missing new nostalgia, making new memories. I feel like that's what you need to do. Bottom of the deck. Make a healthy choice in love and life. Self-love, self-care, being happier. There's just something here that you need to do for yourself. There's a person or a job or a business or a home or something that somebody needs to let go of. I feel like with this energy that it's a person. See, if you're worried about competition, I'm getting like this energy of... Let's say you're in a relationship, right? And maybe this person cheated on you before and you took them back and now you don't trust them. Page of Swords reversed. They said they're not going to do it anymore. They're not going to cheat on me anymore. They're not going to treat me that way. I'm going to take them back. But now it's like you're living this life where you have to, I don't know, watch this person every second of every day because you always think that they're up to something. Whoever this person is, I definitely don't feel like they're good for you. I mean, the two first cards that came out were truth. You need to face the truth that a relationship is over. I hope you're not the one doing the stalking. I feel like you need to move on. You need to grow. You need to transform your life. Someone may be feeding you a bunch of crap as well. There's something very shady here, Scorpio. Because gaslighting is my card of like someone blowing you up, feeding you a bunch of bullcrap. Page of Swords is someone who's not telling the truth, using eloquent speech. We could also flip this whole reading. You could have been free from the devil, free from an unhealthy relationship because you made the healthy choice to do it. Because two of wands in reverse to me is a decision that's made and someone else is sad and someone else is holding on to you and they're watching you. I definitely feel like you're tired of dealing with a person or a group of people. Angels, show me additional messages for Scorpio, please. Time to get on a new path, Scorpio. <laughs> Surrender now. It's time. On the bottom of the deck, it's time for you to let go. Time to let go. My gosh, that took the words right out of my mouth. You're probably trying to let go of a soulmate, which is very, very difficult. I can understand that. I can relate. Do you have any advice for Scorpio, please? Because a soulmate, oh, it's very difficult. I still just don't see any endings here. I see you thinking about the new direction and looking at possibilities of 
walking away from this situation, but I don't see you doing it. Show me Scorpio's advice, please, angels. All right. We'll take that one because it flipped up. And we'll look at the bottom of the deck, too. All right. What do we got? Healer of action. This is a time when you can do whatever you set your mind to if your heart is open. You're being asked to do many things at once. You won't mind as long as you know you're making a difference. See, you're a hard worker, you're a good person, you're helping people. This card indicates someone who's loving, intelligent, passionate, and fun, which could definitely describe you. This person can handle difficult situations with grace, and that's what you're doing. You're just being graceful about, about this exit that you're possibly going to make. Fair decisions. Your angels are aware that you have concerns, but be assured that there's nothing to worry about. Stand your ground and know that heaven is shining its divine light upon the situation and all is being healed. Take time to review all of the details thoroughly. Forgiveness will bring peace to everyone involved. This is justice. Hmm. You're concerned, but there's nothing to worry about. Five of thought. The path you were on seemed like the right one, but now you've run into a challenge. There's a better direction for you that will make you much happier in the end. I mean, this whole entire reading is screaming that. Um, changes are necessary so you can get back on track. Avoid negative people who are draining and bring unwanted drama to your life. Something is over here, Scorpio. It's just over. And the angels want you to surrender. Let go. You're going to be so much happier if you let go. You have a decision to make about taking action and letting go and going after your desires, even if it's going to cost you money or time. Someone is taking advantage of you and you need to face the truth. Sorry that your reading was so blah. Scorpio, but if you did stay till the end, thank you so much for watching. Good luck with your situation, and I will see you soon.